guys welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me today we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna decorate some cake sickles today usually when I decorate cake and I have a lot of extra cake scraps I don't like wasting so I end up storing them into the freezer which you just go ahead and you mix it up with some buttercream if I have ganache or sometimes I go ahead and I use like if there is some dulce de leche which is like a caramel filling I mix it with that so I have a variety of different mixes let's go ahead and let's dip some of those and make some cake sickles they're really fun and they're also not too big they're nice serving size so um, let's go ahead and let's make some delicious beautiful looking cake sickles firstly what I do is I crumble the cake and then I mix it in with some of the buttercream that I have then I go ahead and I form them into the mold and I place those little cake sticks into the mold, just ensuring that it's firmly packed in. I also went ahead and I made some into the cake balls, which is like um, just the regular cake pops. And what I'm doing here is I'm just dipping the icicle sticks into the chocolate and inserted them into the cake balls, like probably halfway through. Now. I'm melting some milk chocolate, which I'll be dipping those cake pops and cake sickles into. I melted the chocolate over a bain marie, which is simply a pot of water with like probably an inch or two of water at the bottom. You slowly simmered and then you placed the bowl on top of it with the chocolate in it and just slowly melt it, ensuring that the bowl that the chocolate is in does not touch the water at the bottom and once the chocolate you just keep turning the chocolate and ensure that it's completely melted and then once it's melted and it's nice temperature I went ahead and I started to dip the cake pops today I'm just doing one of the cake pops just to try it out so what I did is I dip it into the chocolate and I ensure all the excess is drained out and um, then you set it on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And here I'm just dipping the cakesicles. I'm repeating the same process, dipping, allowing all of the excess chocolate to leak off of the cakesicle. Because you want to ensure that um, there is not too much chocolate on there. So... It's just a little slow process just to ensure all of the excess chocolate um, just falls off of the cakesicle. And I do this by just tapping lightly onto the container at the edge, allowing the excess chocolate and then gently removing the excess from the bottom. And then go ahead and set that on the parchment paper. And now I'm just repeating the same process until all of the cakesicles is fully covered with that milk chocolate. After all of the cakesicles is fully dipped in the chocolate, I just wanted to add some added color with a drizzle of melted chocolate on top. For the drizzle, I'm not using chocolate, I'm using um, candy melts, which is chocolate, but it's a little different. It's easier, it stays nice and um, soft for a longer period without having to reheat. So I just um, added that to a little parchment cone with a tiny hole at the bottom and I just drizzled it over on top of the cakesicles. Just adding a little different dimension and color. I just repeated the same process until I have all of the cakesicles drizzled. And then I added some sprinkles and edible pearls. Today I was dipping these cake pops for my daughter's teacher. We were going in to um, her class. And I figure, why not take a sweet treat for her teacher? So I wanted to make them nice and colorful, just adding on there the things that my daughter likes, the colorful sprinkles. Now I'm going in with some pink, 
Just pretty much doing the same thing, just a light drizzle across, just to give it some added color and design. And on these, just adding some edible white pearls. Now I'm just drizzling some candy melts over the cake pop. Clearly the angle wasn't working for me, but the cake pop wasn't fully set, so I wasn't able to pick it up to drizzle it, so I just worked around it by moving around. I wasn't able to get a proper drizzle, but it worked out. Can't go wrong with chocolate. Added a nice edible bead on that to top it off. And now just continuing to dip the rest of the cakesicles into the chocolate. What I did, I stopped in the middle to decorate those because I didn't want them to set up too hard and for then the toppings not to adhere properly to them because I didn't want the sprinkles to fall off. So what I did, I decorated those first and then I continued dipping the rest of the cakesicles. Same process, just dipping it in, tapping to ensure all of the excess chocolate drips off. So I'm tapping the stick on the corner of the glass that I have the, con the um, chocolate in, but you want to gently tap because the cakesicles are also soft, they're not fully frozen, and um, just removing the excess using the edge of the glass. Just keep dipping until all of the cake are fully covered in chocolate. Giving the chocolate a stir in the middle of each dip just to ensure that it's properly mixed. Dip, remove excess, tap, and set on the parchment paper. Now that I'm done dipping all of the cakesicles, I went ahead on those dried cakesicles on top of the beads and with another layer, another drizzle, just to keep those pearls nice and set on, on there so that they don't fall off. I did that on, on all of them. And then now just decorating the other cakesicles. Adding a drizzle of candy melts on top and adding some edible pearls. This one you can't really get a clear view because my hand is in the view. But it's just repeating the same process, just adding a drizzle, going back over those to ensure that the edible pearls stay put. And there you have it, all of the cakesicles and cake pop fully decorated and ready to be packaged for delivery. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me.